Okay, so we are ready to um, create um, this little rivet that's in the center of that pointer here. To do this, let's create a polygon pipe. And let's uh, bring this in the center of um, this pointer here. To do this, just um, hit uh, V and then middle mouse over that vertex here. So um, now let's go to the top view and let's scale that guy down. We want to move this guy up. And now let's go in and say, okay, X ray to bring it to the size of that rivet in the background image. Yeah, like this here. Something about here. Okay, so now hit F to frame in on that. Mm, so if you hit a three, it's going to be very rounded. So let's go in and say we want to insert some edge loops, one here, one there. And now let's add in one here. And let's select this face and then shift select the next one to select the uh, face ring or face loop. And let's delete that. And then go in and say, okay, select this edge ring here, this border edge, and go to mesh and say fill hole and then with that face uh, created uh, select that and go edit mesh and say poke face okay so we got the the little rivet let's hit a uh, three and uh, it's looking not too bad but let's add, add in one and one um, split here check that out Okay, that could, could be a little bit more rounded. So to do this, uh, select this edge loop that we created earlier, move that down, hit three. And to give it a little bit more rounded touch, so select this edge here, control, right click, edge ring, utilities, edge ring and split, and move that up. Move that up even a little bit more. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm going with this one. Let me add in one uh, split here. That looks like a little rivet. And now we want to scale this guy down and bring this right on top of that pointer. So, okay, we got that done. Now let's say we want to create those little yeah, I would call this little squared boxes here. This one, this one, this one, and so on. Let's create a polygon cube for that. Mm, and let's bring this somewhere here. Um, scale that guy down. And scale that, oopsie, let's scale this out. Mm, let's go to the top view check that out. Scale this a little bit more. This one can actually can intersect a little bit with those other pieces here. So let me select the main piece, hit a three to smooth that out. So this should be, yeah, somewhere, could even be a little bit smaller. And let's uh, check out the width so let's get that in. Something like this. And now let's add in a few um, edge loops. So if you hit uh, three, so it's not looking very good. So let's add in one edge loop here, one there. And finally, let's add in a few, if you hit the four, um, Let's go and select one of one of that edge here. Uh, control right click, add ring utilities, add ring and split. So that set this to multi. And with that done, um, let's go to shaded mode. Hit uh, three to smooth, and let's um, scale that out. So with those two selected, scale those out a little bit. And we want to do the same on this side here. So hit, let me hit four, select this edge, control right click, 
Ettering utilities, Ettering and Split. Again, set this to Multi. Hit four to, uh, 5 to go to Shaded Mode. Scale that up. And now what we should see if we smooth that is a nice, nice little uh, box here. So in this one we are going to take and um, copy that over. So with that selected, um, let's bring the pivot of that cube um, to the center of, the, of this part here. So hit uh, D, move that. Okay, again, hit uh, D, move that, and then say V middle mouse over that center vertex here, and there you go. So we need those little boxes so this is the first one, but we have to rotate that guy. So rotate th that in Y. <coughs> that should be a number like 30 degrees. Type that in. And now we um, say, okay, we want to copy that. So let's um, hit Control D and rotate that to this point here and say it's 60 degrees. And let's do this again. So this time it uh, should be 90 degrees and so on and so forth. Um, so the next one would be 150 if I'm right here. Yes, 150. And hit Control D, duplicate that 180. And again, 210. And again, this time should be something like 270 and again hit control D um, this is going to be 60 and negative 60 degrees and once again negative 30 okay so we get um, all those little boxes created um, before we copy those um, to the other two uh, holes or parts here um, we might want to add um, those numbers. But for now, um, let me just uh, first tweak that pointer here. So this thing is a little bit too wide here, but that shouldn't be a problem to fix. So let's select those vertices here and then say, okay, hit control, right click, and then say grow selection. And we want to do this one more time. So hit a G. So you get all these uh, other vertices selected from that um, part that is sticking out here. And let's uh, scale that. So hit R to scale and then um, hit Control and scale this in Y. And scale this down so that it's getting thinner. Okay, so now what we need to do is we have to bring those edges uh, in again. So select this uh, edge here and double click on this edge loop and then um, take the move tool, so hit W and move that back here. So now let's check that out. So go to object mode and hit a 3. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, okay, we got a little issue here, but uh, for now, that's that's okay. So just leave it like it is. Okay, so now we have um, some additional pieces created here. Um, so I think I'm going to pause the video for a second and then we take care about those numbers. Um, on this um, watch here, this is actually not a texture, uh, this is kind of like a model or a piece. But that's easy to uh, realize, but uh, like I said before, let me pause the video for a second and see you in the next one.